I like to think of when I do this podcast, I'd like to repurpose it to like YouTube. And then one of my hangups was, is Zoom going to be good enough quality to put on a YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. So to answer that question, um, and that's actually right where I was, uh, was in my uh, com- conversation with you as well. So I'm <laughs> glad you're asking right, right along the speed. So basically like other people will say that zoom compresses the video and zoom compresses the audio. Well, zoom does compress it, but it's good enough. So the video quality is going to be a MP4. It's going to be fine. You're going to be able to see it. It's not going to be like 4k it's not a 2k or 4k camera. I mean, you might have that, but you're not going to get that quality out of zoom. You would be using a 4k, but for no reason, because the file is going to be compressed. So if you're making a production that people are likely to watch in the big screen, you need at least 2k. You have to these days, even if somebody's going to be watching it on their six foot TV at home, the 72 inch you have to have at least a 2K or it's going to not look very good. Now, is there an argument that somebody sometime would want to watch your YouTube video that you're repurposing from a podcast? And randomly enough, it happens to be that they're wanting to do it from their TV that's six feet. Sure. It, it could be argued that that would happen sometimes. But the video quality is less important than the audio quality, to my opinion. The video, the YouTube videos, we really only put them up because YouTube is a big search engine. And we like to use the platform for searchability. We like to be able to have YouTube have somebody who's looking for, let's just say real estate, since you're doing real estate, and they want real estate coaching, they want real real estate mentorship, they want to uh, join a big team like yours, where you can kind of show them the ropes of being the most successful for maybe being like a real estate agent and working like under you, basically with you, but with in your organization nationwide. Great. All of that's great. We just want them to be able to find you when they're searching. We don't care if you have 4K camera quality. Uh, 920p uh, is going to be fine. 920 frames is going to be fine. 1080 by 720 is going to be fine. It's way smaller than a 2K, but it's good enough. And most people today that consume YouTube honestly consume it on their phone. And most cell phones are about this big. It's going to be more than enough to be 1080 by 720 at a 920 p, uh, frames per second. It's totally fine. So there's good, all these people that will argue against it and say the sound quality is compressed, the video quality is compressed. I don't argue against that. They are right. It is compressed. But my listener right now, and David, when you listen back to this episode or even watch this episode, the listener right now understands that this audio quality is good enough. Sure. This they're they're they are probably being like, well, what honestly what the listener's probably thinking right now about the audio quality is what would be wrong with it? What could an audio engineer be catching? Because this sounds great. And that's similar to the video quality. You know, the video video quality is a little bit smaller. It might just look like we both recorded on a a decent camera instead of an insane camera that can see our pimples and our, our our pores. We don't really need to see the pimples and the pores. It doesn't matter so much. Uh, If we see you smiling, we see, we get enough of it and we're going to get that out of this recording. And we're using zoom today. Zoom's just easy. I like it. (laughs) 